One of the things that you can do to mitigate dehydration in a race is not need to be drinking so much. One of the side benefits of glycogen loading is that you actually hydrate from the inside out. What about hydration? Am I at risk for dehydration? So if you're in a long race, hydration is gonna be a factor for sure. I don't care if it's 30 degrees, you need to be intaking water, you really do. But I wanna share with you how you can just kind of hack this a little bit in a little way that you might already be doing but hadn't really thought of before. And that is another advantage that you get from glycogen loading. So glycogen loading is the idea that you're gonna eat more carbohydrates before you do an endurance exercise in order to store more carbohydrates in the form of glycogen. So we use glucose as, our, as the molecule for fuel. We use fat and we use glu glucose. But glucose is when we're going fast, when we're going hard, when you need energy immediately. If you get up right now and run, go run a mile fast, you use glucose. Sitting here at rest, you're using a lot more fat. Okay, so storing sugar is really important if you're gonna go run. Now, the way that it used to be done in the 50s was eat more carbohydrate. That was it. Then the second wave of glycogen loading, which works better, is to do this. You actually deplete your glycogen about three to four days before your event. You deplete it either by doing a long run or you don't eat as much or you eat just protein and fat and you don't consume carbohydrate for a couple of days. Now your body is starving for glycogen and then you eat a whole lot of carbohydrate in the 36 hours before your race. If you do that, you'll get more storage of glycogen. Sounds advantageous, right? But it's too risky. Here's why. This is not what you should do. Even though it works, you shouldn't do this because you hurt your immune system. Now, you compromise your immune system immediately when your glycogen levels get really low, which is why, how many of you have gotten sick after running a marathon or an ultra marathon? Has that ever happened? After a long race, sometimes you get sick. And part of the reason is because you compromised your immune system by depleting your glycogen levels. This is not good because you might arrive on race day sick or lethargic. That's not what we want. So it is a step in the right direction, but essentially what we wanna do is keep our glycogen stores high and then give ourselves a stimulus 24 to 36 hours before the race where we spike your insulin so that you are able to grab more sugar and store it as, as glycogen right before your race. And then you'll have a kind of topped off improved glycogen stores. Okay. But this isn't about glycogen stores. This is about hydrating from the inside out. So you're only, you're limited to how much water you can drink, right? You can either, you'll either get sloshing in your stomach or you'll get nauseated or your stomach is full or you're uncomfortable, or you can only carry so much. There's all these limiting factors. Not only that, but when you're in a race and you're starting to get dehydrated, it's too late. You should drink. Don't let it get worse, but it takes a long time for that water to travel stomach, small intestine, all throughout your small intestine, which is really long at large intestine, absorb, now get into your blood. It's kind of too late. So it takes time and it takes energy. If nothing else, you have to lift your water bottle. It, it takes energy to do this and it takes time. But if you maximize your glycogen stores, here's what will happen. So I'm going to use some makeshift props right here. So here's a, here's a molecule of glucose. Glycogen is the complex stored form of this. So here's one glucose, another glucose, another glucose, another glucose. You put them all together in a compact form and that is glycogen. Okay. And then you store glycogen in your liver and your muscles. And then when you want the energy, you break the glycogen back down into glucose and you use the glucose. Okay. But when you take glucose like this and you store it as a glycogen, you store it with the addition of water molecules. So just for a visual, I'll put my turmeric cinnamon coffee. This is water, right? You're going to store water and it attaches to it. This is why you might actually put on weight when you glycogen load before a race. And you might stand on the scale and see that you're a pound or two heavier. When you glycogen load, you store that glycogen with water. So you're heavier because you're carrying around extra water. You're not bloated. It's not like in your skin and under, you know, floating around and puffing you up. It's in your liver. It's in your muscles. You're not going to feel bad. 
then when you run, you're actually going to lose a lot of that weight. Now, if you look at elite marathoners and you weigh them and they do this, right? Weigh them before and after they're going to lose at least 1%, if not 2%, and sometimes 3% or much more, if it's really hot of their body weight over the course of the race. Now, how did they lose that weight? Where did it come from? It came from water. They're going to sweat it out. They're going to do all these things, right? Um, you might even pee it out. <laughs> Who knows? But they might sweat out more water than they intake. Where'd the water come from? It came from their glycogen. So one of the things that you can do to mitigate dehydration in a race, keep yourself hydrated, is not need to be drinking so much. Or when you do drink, it's topping off the tank as opposed to filling the tank, right? It's, it's just kind of like mitigating the lows. And you do that by storing more glycogen. So you're going to run, insulin levels go up, and you drink some water, eat some food, you have sugar in your blood, these are glu glucose molecules, and you're going to store it as glycogen. Now it gets stored with water, and now when you go run, you're going to lop off one of these glycogens from your liver, and you're going to break it down. And when you break it down into glucose, you have fuel for your running. This is what your body's trying to do. But as a byproduct, you also take that water molecule and boop, pop it off and you release it. You get water, my friends. <laughs> you get water for free. Okay. So one of the side benefits of glycogen loading is that you actually hydrate from the inside out. Now that's pretty awesome, isn't it? So make sure that before your endurance races, you are glycogen loading. Now you know that because you want the sugar for fuel, but this is also going to hydrate you as well. Hey, if you like that video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And the best way to give back is to take the link for this video and send it to just one of your friends. It really helps us grow. We appreciate it. Thank you. We'll see you on the next video.